I'm here at the Livingston Gym where the Rutgers Gymnastics team just hosted their senior meets against the Maryland Terrapins, the Yale Bulldogs, and the UPenn Quakers. The team had high scores in vault and beam. I thought we took a lot of positive steps forward today. I, I told the girls today just to focus on pushing out negativity and really work on continuing to stay positive and keep pushing forward. Well, I thought the energy stayed um, pretty high, which is always, it's easier to compete with a lot of energy. It's an honor to be able to do that every weekend. I love the sport, so I'm just, I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of the whole team. I'm a very emotional person, so I'm glad I didn't let it get to me that this is my last time here. A vault was so much fun. It was just hit after hit after hit, and then beam. Libby started assault. Her beam was so much fun to watch, and then I was like her first person that gave her a hug after it. And it was just cool because that's my person on beam. She always coaches me through my routine during practice, and I'll get a little emotional talking about it, but it's what I'm going to miss the most, and it was such an um, unbelievable feeling. The highlight of the meet today was definitely before floor. We always have this cheer, and this one person sits in the middle. It's usually like the person with the best routine, and they're the bomb. And I've ne first of all, I've never been the bomb even when I competed. And um, this year, I can't compete at all because I've been injured. Um, so that meant a lot to me. And I was—I didn't know it was going to happen, so I was crying a lot. Um, but that was a really cool moment. The Scarlet Knights compete again next week at UIC on February 19th. Reporting for Our Vision, I'm Morgan Singledolce.